So last time, we solved the mystery of the photocopier, but from that, a new, much bigger question arose. How does this guy work? I mean for real, how do printers work? Is there like a monkey inside that can perfectly draw any picture? Like, yeah, I get it, there's toner and there's paper, but I don't get any of the stuff in between. How can the toner be so perfectly arranged on the paper? Well, that's what I'm trying to solve today. How do printers work? Oh, and speaking of my last video, you guys really seem to like that mountain gourd Mount thing. Gourd. Well, a lesser known fact is that at the top of mountain gourd, my grandfather used to live, along with his talking horse. It is there where he started the industrial revolution because he was bored. Yeah, my 2000 year old grandfather, remember him? I talked about him like two years ago. But anyway, I'm deviating from the subject. Let's get back to printers. How do printers work? Okay, I'm taking the same approach as last time. Wait, YouTube Premium. Okay. Let's see the first one. The orthodontic mold is a model used in the orthodontic field. Mainly the Pettus Graham Pacer test is a multi stage aerobic capacity yeah. test. Thank you for teaching me. Th this will come in handy when I try to build my first human. Nice intro. To fully That's understand how printer. technically complex color printing is, take a look at the electrophotographic process. The primary charge roller, or PCR, rotates next to the OPC drum and applies a negative charge to the surface of the OPC drum, Just which like prepares it for the imaging process. The OPC drum is then exposed to a laser, which forms the image. Oh, this is, this is actually really similar. In the photocopying process, the drum gets hit uh, with the light directly from the paper itself and now it just gets hit with a laser that represents the image that you want to print. This area is more positively charged than the area yeah. is not exposed to the laser. It's the same concept. And I imagine... Toner is stirred in the hop... I imagine it's the same for every color and then they just get mixed together on the paper. Her. The toner, like added roller the toner on the OPC drum is then transferred to the paper. This process occurs within the four color cartridges in every laser printer. So yeah, the just... paper with the toner then passes through the fusing assembly, where it is melted and fused to the paper. It just happens in every one of the colors. So yeah, it's a really similar process. Basically, you have the drum, the drum is charged, it gets shot with light that changes the charge, so the toner gets stuck to it in different parts and then it can put it on paper. And at the end, the paper gets heated um, so the toner melts and merges with the paper and that's why when you print a piece of paper, it's hot to the touch when it comes out. <laughs> yeah, I really didn't expect it to be over in just one video. It's surprisingly simple. I have developed so much respect for my printer after watching this video. <laughs> Same. Actually, I have developed a lot of respect for my printer when it got me 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. <laughs> the animation looks bomb, but you didn't understand anything from me. Yeah, well, I guess that's all. <laughs> See ya.